Today I hit the hills to do some distance testing with the 3DR Solo using the stock Omni antennas and the Rex UAV silver antenna system. This is also called the FPVLR antenna system. Again, this particular one is silver, not copper. As I said, silver propagates better. As you can see on the back, you've got these flexible coax pieces here. You swing your transmitter, take off the stock antennas and put these on. In general, that's about how far it would stick out. I noticed today that I had this slightly tilted up facing the drone as the drone was flying away. Basically for the whole time the drone flew away from me. And <clears throat> if I jostled the transmitter, this particular antenna would start to fall. Uh, the coax wasn't strong enough to keep it up. What you might have to do is either tape it in place or something else to make sure it's you know, good to go. I also noticed that if it wasn't directly pointed at the drone, your signal degraded quickly. So it appears that they're fairly directional. Uh, what did I find out? Well, I found out that I have literally the best 3DR Solo out on the market right now using stock antennas Take a look at this picture. This is a screenshot I took while I was flying, while the drone was still up in the air using stock antennas. You see that number up there? Yep, almost 4200 feet because it'll drop from one bar down to the little red transmitter icon. I probably could have got 4250, maybe even 4300 if I was really going to push it. I did not. I stayed right around that 4200 mark, turned around, and had comms the whole way back using the stock antennas. Okay, what was the catch? My stock antennas were configured as such. 90 degree angles, in parallel with each other, as I held the transmitter pretty much completely flat. If anything, there might have been a slight tilt up, but it was flat for the most part. When the drone was out there at 3,000 and 3,500 feet, I modified these Omni antennas, right? Thinking that, okay, some type of receive transmit diversity might help. Give them that whole 20 to 45 degree separation. That did not help. I also flipped them upside down and had them sticking out the back. And I even did some of the straight out. You name it. I had six batteries with me. I burnt all six playing around with the FPVLR antenna and the stock antennas and <clears throat> lo and behold the best configuration I could come up with on these stock Omni antennas was straight up and down 90 degree angles if you will from the transmitter perspective and parallel to each other. That worked for me, that's how I got that 4200 mark. The FPVLR, well, like I said, I had to point it directly at the drone, and I lightly manipulated it, held it in place the best I could. At each angle difference or up and down difference I made, the up and down change I made, trying to see if I could increase the signal strength. But when it came down to it, 3,000 feet is as far as I could go with this silver FPVLR Rex UAV antenna system. That did not seem right as I watch other YouTube videos out there and they go well further than that but I'm not sure. Here take a look at the screenshot. This screenshot here is of the Rex UAV antenna system showing that I was about out of luck at 3,000 feet away from me. My thoughts? Well Perhaps I got a bad antenna system here. Um, maybe the connectors that they crimped on here are not that good. Maybe something's wrong right at the connectors. Maybe the connectors were dirty. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but for all intents and purposes, again, going through six batteries today, I'm going to stick with the Omni antennas and forgo these directional antennas. I, I don't even know. It doesn't fit in the case. Okay. Um, they're very sensitive. I mean, you're going to break one of these, you're going to snap them right off if you're not gentle. I just don't see this 
antenna system being practical for what I have uh, the drone for. All right, <clears throat> arguments. I agree, right? So maybe this one's bad. Maybe silver was not the right way to go. Maybe copper's copper is better. But when we get down to it, I did the same path when I used the Omni and the Rex UAV antenna. It was the same time of day outside of the time it took to get the drone back, put a new battery in, and fly again. All batteries were really close to 95% or better. It was the same drone, same transmitter, same takeoff location. Again, like I said, same path. And between each flight, brand new battery and a complete power down of both the phone, the app, the 3DR transmitter and the 3DR drone obviously. I don't know what to say. Feel free to add suggestions in the comment section of the uh, YouTube video here but for all intensive purposes it looks like the Omni antennas in this 90 degree configuration completely parallel is the way to go. Pretty wide open. Uh, it would almost make me believe that other users who have shorter ranges with the Omni antennas, perhaps it's the way the antennas are positioned or even showing us that the 3DR is very susceptible to interference and other 2.4 gigahertz signals. I'm not sure. I guess in general when you take a look at all the YouTube videos out there, the videos with the greatest distance are secluded from housing developments, uh, potentially over water, out in the woods, and so forth. 